for more on the impact of Tesla's move and what perspective car buyers should know, we're joined by, by Edmonds Executive Director of Insights, Jessica Caldwell. Jessica, thank you so much for joining us here on Live Now from Fox. And first, just give us a little bit of a breakdown of what we know about the slash in prices from Tesla. Well, what we know is that they had decided to cut prices by 20% for all vehicles worldwide, which I think if you've looked at car prices or have been watching the news for the past year, that is definitely atypical. The story has been car prices are going up. This inventory shortage caused by the microchips has really driven prices up. So I think the fact that an automaker is going the opposite way and cutting prices, it made it into a bigger story than it already was, which is a very generous price cut. And obviously we have seen this and usually we see cars year in and year out kind of go down, but this obviously very, very unprecedented just by the scale in which it did go down. Yes, I think that 20%, that's a big cut. But I think if you look at the environment of, you know, of, of what's going on, we know that in 2023, there is this federal tax credit that price cut put their, you know, most one of their most popular models, the Model Y, under that pricing threshold. So I think that was a big motivation for doing it. Tesla has not been eligible for the federal tax credit for a while now. So I think the fact that the window is now open for them again, they want to take advantage. They know that their competitors are weak, that they do not have a lot of inventory at this point. They have definitely been hit very hard with the chip shortage. So I think kind of that old adage of grabbing market share while you can was probably, you know, really a, a big driver for Tesla as well, as they have probably going into this year and next year, not the most exciting products on the block any longer. Their vehicles are a bit older and are going to have a hard time shining again, some of the new vehicles that are just coming fast and furiously. Yeah, Tesla certainly had a control of that market share of EVs for quite some time. Was that a big factor in the Tesla move and the motivation behind these price drops? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, essentially, Tesla has owned the EV market for a number of years now. I mean, even from an image standpoint, I think when you hear the word EV, Tesla comes to mind immediately, which all the other automakers are going to have, you know, that hill to climb up and kind of get over that and kind of put their products in the mind of consumers. So I think that them being in a position where they could offer price uh, discounts and kind of get those people that are maybe thinking about waiting for some of the other models while they can and then really just advertise on price or not advertise but really kind of drive home that message of price um you know federal tax rebates and just really speak to the american consumer where they like to be spoken to which is their wallet we like deals we love deal messaging so whenever that comes especially in a time where cost of living is so high i think people will respond to that definitely and obviously tesla's and used car industry as a whole certainly feeling the shock waves of this later maybe how beyond just EVs, but EVs included, how does this impact the whole used car industry as a whole? Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I think for Tesla specifically, it, it will definitely put a lot of pressure on their current owners. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter to you what the used values are unless you're selling your vehicle. Um, I imagine that those uh, owners at this point are probably not necessarily that happy, especially if they wanted to turn over their vehicle at any Point in the future. I mean, this price cut isn't going to necessarily um, create shockwaves through the whole used car market just because that is so many vehicles on so many price points. If someone are looking for, you know, an old cheap basic midsize sedan, this price cut's not really going to bug them. But I think for the, you know, the Tesla, uh, you know, Tesla owners, I, I know that they are looking at this and wondering, is this going to affect how much I could sell my vehicle for, which is what, you know, of course, everyone wants to know. Correct. Yeah. Affecting their wallets, like you said, is a big point. What does this say, though, about the EV industry as a whole now that we've seen just these very recent price cuts? Well, we know that the EV industry is competitive and someone like Tesla, who has been such the dominant player for so long, I think is getting a little bit nervous and rightly so. Their products are long and tooth. They probably need a redesign coming up. Everyone's seen them, especially in you know, congested cities where Teslas are quite common, Los Angeles, San Francisco, they're not the bright, bright, shiny object anymore. I mean, they're pretty common. They're like, you know, seeing a, you know, a Toyota Camry or something on the road. And these people that buy these vehicles, they spend a lot of money. They want to be recognized for their purchase and they want the, you know, the, the, the latest thing on the block. So Tesla maybe isn't necessarily that. So, you know, the fact that new products are coming into this market shows that it is expanding and Tesla is getting a bit nervous. 
Definitely. There's a lot of variables, like you said, in the motivation behind this. But Elon Musk, Tesla, they have been in the headlines quite recently. How much does maybe that brand reputation and those headlines playing a decision into what we do see now? Yeah, so it is interesting. I think in the very beginning, Elon Musk was a real big asset because everyone saw him. He talked about bringing EVs to the masses and saving the planet and all things that I think resonate with a normal person. You know, those are positive messages and people almost wanted to be a part of this. They felt it was like a, a movement almost. They waited in line to put their orders in, which again, we don't really see in real life too often. So it was such a, you know, so much about it was Elon Musk's image and people, you know, having a big affinity towards that. And of course, we've seen that transform over the years. Now with the Tesla takeover, it feels like a lot of people have, you know, some negative feelings now about Elon Musk and it's not all, you know, rainbows and sending rocket ships into space. Um, so that is, you know, a big consideration. And I have seen, you know, amongst consumers, that is a, a topic of people saying, you know, I, I'm not really sure how I feel about this man. I don't know if I want to give any more money to this company. I mean, it's a big company, obviously. We know the stock cap at this point. But um, do I really want to be a part of this any longer? And I think that is a, a problem for Tesla as they look towards the future. They need to be defined more than this one man because they are. Um, it's just not what everyone may think. Yeah, definitely. The direction is kind of in flux right now with a lot of things going on right there. I do have to ask you about the Tesla. And if someone bought a Tesla right before those price cuts came down, the end of 2022 or the beginning of 2023, right in the beginning, what should they do? What advice would you give to someone like that? Well, they're not happy because we have seen them uh, be pretty vocal. I've seen them in several forms of people with this exact thing. It never feels good, of course, to buy something that it goes on sale right afterwards, especially something as expensive as a vehicle. The thing about it is if you plan to buy and hold your Tesla for a long period of time, these price cuts won't affect you that much as in years to come. If you want to sell it within the next few months, I'd say that's probably not a good idea try to keep it for longer because it will get mitigated over time. It's just anyone that's probably in the market to sell their vehicle, like these car flippers that we heard about all last summer. That's probably not, you know, a really good business you want to get into at this point. All right. Thank you so much, Jessica Caldwell, Edmonds Director of uh, Executive Director of Insights. There Are there any parting words you want to leave with our audience about Tesla's, the EV industry or the used car industry as a whole? Well, it's definitely coming. So I know there's people thinking that, is this really going to happen? Infrastructure still has to come a long way, but start looking to see what's what's out there. It's going to require a shift of our own you know, thoughts about how we have a relationship with our cars, about charging. But if you look towards the future, it's, it's, you know, it's definitely on route. It's just a matter of time. Definitely. That is good advice for everyone. Thank you so much for joining us here on Live Now from Fox. We appreciate all the insight you've provided. Of course. Thank you.